Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to bring downloaded brushes and other downloaded materials into Clip Studio Paint. So on PC, it's different than on uh, an iPad. So I'll show you both. Uh, on a PC, you're just going to want to go file and open your Clip Studio dot 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 down at the bottom here. So open Clip Studio. That's going to be uh, your manager for all things about the program and you're gonna look for Clip Studio assets once you've found you know whatever you want to download you know you can search brushes whatever you're gonna need to go to manage materials and this is where you're gonna pull them from so here are all the brushes that I have there's various things here and you're just gonna want to drag one of them in and that should work for you. So now we can even use this brush. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and on the iPad, I'm going to show you what to do with that. Similar steps. We're going to go to open our Clip Studio Manager and we're going to find Clip Studio Assets. It will open up Safari. And from here, you can search for new brushes and things, whatever you need. Um, top right, we're going to click on downloads. So that top right button, find downloads. And it'll show me things I've already downloaded. These are the ones I actually download on PC. And I can pull them into my uh, Clip Studio Paint. So the way that I'm going to do that after I, you know, they're downloaded here, I can see what's here. Uh, in your Clip Studio Paint, we can just go return to paint you're going to look for your window click window that is your material so material download because these are ones that we've downloaded so get that window up for yourself and then from here you can literally drag any brush in so drag it over and now i can use it i really don't want to do this to my poor cubone art but you get the idea so i just have to add this note because i know it can be a problem some of these don't drag in like this one it won't like drag sometimes sometimes these just don't drag in so these ones worked this time but sometimes if they don't work you can just press the bottom at the bottom there's a button here if you saw that it'll add it to the bottom so and then it'll say registered to subtool palette so you just need to pick what you want and the little button here press that and it will add it to your current subtool palette hopefully that helps and uh, catch you guys in another video I make clip studio paint uh, videos like this on my channel. So check it out.